Restless News. Hi, I'm Marissa Riley. I'm Alex Duke. And I'm Taylor Woods. And this is Stress Less News. Today we'll be discussing stress, how to manage it, superfoods to reduce your stress, and the harmful effects chronic stress can have on you. Also, different forms of stress and what you might be suffering from. Top causes of stress in the U.S. Number seven, sleep deprivation. The inability to release adrenaline and other stress hormones. You need your sleep if you want to be able to work efficient, efficiently. The sixth one is media overload, such as television, radio, internet, email, social networking sites like Facebook or Instagram. We all love them, but we can't always do them. Mm -mm. Number five, poor nutrition. Inadequate nutrition, caffeine, processed food, or refined sugars. Like fast food and, you know, caffeine, like coffee and Coke. You may think that really helps you and keeps you awake and focused on a test, but really it makes you anxious and it makes you have a less likely great performance on your tests and exams. The fourth one's relationships, such as divorce in the family, the death in a family. Arguments with friends can cause really big stress problems and loneliness, too. They're just all just not good for stressfulness. If you're having an argument with a friend, you really need to work that out or just push it away if you really want to focus on your schoolwork. Number three is health, like a health crisis, terminal or chronic illness. If terminal illnesses are happening outside of the family, you might want to refer to a counselor or somebody you really confide in to help you get through it. If you're having a health crisis, it's probably most likely due to your stress because stress causes like headaches and it, it sometimes increases the intensity of allergies, so that's a big problem. The second one is money, like a loss of job, reduced retirement, medical expenses. Medical expenses cost a lot of money, but we're not really worried about this so much as our family mm -hmm. is, which causes a lot of stress on us when we know about everything. Yeah. Number one is job pressure, or in our case, school pressure. Like, especially work overload. I know right now it's the end of the year, and we have a lot of projects and tests and exams are coming up. But you really need to prioritize and get that stuff together. That way it will cause less stress, and you'll have a better performance on all of your schoolwork. I've just been so stressed out lately. I have projects due in, like, every class with all these exam essays. What do you all think? Same for me. So many projects. I know. Papers, essays. Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. everywhere and it's been really hard to you know deal with it but did you know that there's different types of stress there's acute stress acute stress is the body's instant response to any situation that seems demanding or dangerous your stress level depends on how intense the stress is how long it lasts and how you cope with the situation but chronic stress that's the big boy is caused by stressful situations or events that last over a long period of time this could include having a difficult job or dealing with a chronic disease. Oh, it's just stress is everywhere. So, what type of things really like cause stress? Like we know like projects and everything, but like what else? Many things can cause stress. Your health, like if you have an illness or you get headaches or anything. Emotional problems like depression or anything like that. Your relationships with friends or yeah. boyfriends or family members. <laughs> Major life changes such as dealing with like a death or anything really. Stress within your family like money problems or sibling problems or anything. Yeah. Your surroundings can even cause stress because like if you're just stressed out at home, it's not going to help you with school. Especially if your house is messy like mine because I cannot study when house is just big mess, but hey, this is me. So, Taylor, how can things st stress affect your body? Um, it can, like, mess up your, mess up your heart, high blood pressure, affect your, your muscles and stuff. I don't know what it is, but it's really bad. It um, mess up your lungs, it cause asthma, you can get acne. Oh, God, that, yeah. Have that real bad acne. Oh, it's not that bad. More acne probably causes more stress. Yeah. yeah. It's, just like an ever, it's like an everlasting process. Mm -hmm. All the stress is gone. Yeah. I notice myself get headaches a lot when I get stressed out. Yeah. Like, I think I blame my eyes for it, but then I sit down and think about, am I really stressed out? And then, yeah, it just causes headaches, whatever. But, um, different things that can reduce your stress. Besides, you know, we talked about 
earlier how different foods can help you and how actually taking your notes and stuff, but there's actually things that you may not know that could reduce stress, such as keeping a positive attitude. I'd say that I keep a positive attitude when it's time to make that. Yeah, 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 thank you. Um, except that there are events that you can't control, like, hmm, I'm trying to think of a good thing. Like, for instance, if a storm comes, you know, yes, hurricanes are stressful. We live in New Orleans, they happen. But, you know, that's nothing that's your fault, and you just got to pick it back up and keep going, because that's what happy, positive people do. Be assertive instead of aggressive. I have a problem with this a lot. I know. Like, I'll I'll get in fights with my mom sometimes. Like, we be like, Mom, yes. Like, I'm stressed out, and I just take it out on her because I'm so freaking out. But really, it's better to just be assertive in a nice way, you know? Just and let know how you feel instead of taking it out. Yeah, so. Just talk about it instead of yelling it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Learn and practice relaxation techniques. Yoga. Now, I know nobody can get up and just go to a random yoga class happening in, like, a forest somewhere. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> wherever <laughs> forest. Yeah. Forest. No, I'm not.